Okay, we're going to take a, a look at modeling this remote control using the power surfacing add-in for SOLIDWORKS. You can see this is from the SOLIDWORKS surfacing manual and we've got two sketches with uh, a couple of JPEGs that have been imported from an industrial designer. So we're going to go ahead and make a box. I'm going to um, place that box on the, uh, the right plane because we're going to use that as our parting plane. And I'm just going to start really simple. And I'm going to make this back face uh, what we call a hard edge. I'm going to make it flat. Okay. And we're going to get straight in and mirror. Okay. So this will allow me to work symmetrically the whole way through. Like I say, pretty straightforward. Um, and while the boxes are primitive like this, you can see they're pretty easy to to manipulate and move and grow wherever we want them to. So we're just going to make that approximately where we want. Okay, I'm going to add transparency and I'm just going to add some edges. So on here we can choose how many segments we want. In fact, we could just add a couple more on there. Yeah, we can always come and add more on later if we want to. I'm going to do six divisions. Okay, also going to divide it straight down the middle as well. In fact, I'm going to divide that. Um, in fact, we're going to divide it after I've done the top view. So let's take a look through. You can see all we need to do is kind of like, a lot like the handles of a spline. We can just drag and change until we get the uh, geometry that we're after. So, and we'll just start pulling those in until we achieve what we're after. So I'm going to squeeze these ones up because we don't really need so many, quite so many at the end. Um, we can scale them down and then move them out. We get this convenient triad for helping us move them. Let's try and keep them a little bit straighter. All right, so starting to form our shape. You know, it's a pretty quick process. We have got some alignment tools, so we could force alignment. But I'm pretty happy just keeping them like they are for now. Just going to do a crossing window, just like a sort of waste to select everything that we're after. I'll try and match that sketch as best as possible. Obviously there's discrepancy from one side to the other because it's just a hand-drawn sketch, so we just get it looking how we want. Let's just tell that in a smidgen. Okay, that, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so as you can see on our side pro profile, um, we are going to pull these down to be approximately, in fact, We're going to scale the whole thing to keep it symmetric using our scale tool. Okay, so let's split these just like we did before. we're going to split them and have three. The advantage of doing this is, you know, if I just split two, 
I would have ended up with uh, a line in the middle, but this one's going to allow me to control my draft and tangency all the way through. So we're going to take these two and just drag them down. In fact, I'm going to take ones from my tangency down at the same time. And we're going to squeeze these ones up just a little bit and move them across. So then we've got all of our other parting lines. <coughs> and we've up to here. And I'm going to do the same for these. Just squeeze them up halfway. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good, so we're going to pull this in, going to pull this in, maybe we'll pull these two down just a little bit more, pull these ones up. Okay, so how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. And that's all that's left is these top vertices. As you can see, we've got these vertices here. Just to pull these in somewhat. Round it off. the same at the bottom. Because we've got this symmetry it makes it easy to to process these. Try and keep them similar to the top. You can see the top ones underneath. I think that looks pretty good as the first pass, so the power siphon tool lets us then convert that to a solid body, and we can come through here and look at the curvature, does it match what we're after? At this point I'm going to take the opportunity just to hide those sketches. Okay, so maybe it's a little bit too flat under here, so I'm going to pull this bottom out a little. That looks pretty good, and we need to add our little dip in the top. So we can come back and look through this history at any point in time. So we can quite clearly see we need to pull that out. Okay, so let's uh, divide this top too. In fact, it might be a good time to put that sketch back on so we can see it. 
what we're going to do is going to just do an offset loop for these and because we've got our mirror on there we're just going to change it to be a, a crossed with the mirror at the same time we can choose the position of where we want this and how many loops do we want so I'm going to put two in there which looks pretty good then we're going to start taking these nodes down that one down a little bit more so we have a number of choices at this point as you can see we've created included the fillet as part of our model but maybe we didn't want to do that maybe we want to have this coming down in a loop like that so we can change that or we could keep a hard edge to do the fillet at that point. I'm not going to dwell on it too much because what I'd like to be able to do is um, show how we can integrate some of the SolidWorks features into it more clearly. Okay, that looks pretty good for me, for now. Probably could work on that a little bit more. Um, okay, but what we're lacking right at the moment is a line through the middle. So, we have a number of choices. So, our line through the middle, we can start creating a, a boundary. So, I can use... a a select tool, so there's two ways, this is one way and we can insert a boundary So that means when it converts it, it will have a clear boundary defined. Okay, making it very easy to carry on work with the next part of our creation. So we're going to go to our surfacing tools. We're going to do an offset surface zero. And we're going to add these surfaces. It's going to enable us to shell the model and then come in and we could have done it in a half as well, that would have been perfectly acceptable. We're just going to leave it as one. I'm going to do the same down the bottom. Okay, then we can hide our solid body. We've got two surfaces, and we can use our thicken. And we're going to thicken this by uh, 1.5 mil, should be plenty. one. I don't want to merge that, I want to keep them separate. Okay, so taking a quick look through my model, we can see we now have two bodies that split where we want them. So all that's left to do is add some more SolidWorks features. So we're going to use the uh, lip and group. the top plane and we're going to do ours on the inside okay I'm just going to make that just a smidgen small actually we'll just leave it at the defaults that's fine just see how it comes out because it's going to be nice and quick
that's okay, I could have worked with that. So let's take a quick look at our cross section. As you can see, we have our lip and groove that we put on there, and we can carry on adding some ribs and other aspects. 